Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to go on to coastal erosion. Uh, pretty much a big deal on here on Long Island, so we'll probably spend a lot more time on this in class. But here's your general overview or screencast for coastal erosion. Um, there are a number of different features that protect beaches from erosion. Remember, we have moving water in our oceans, uh, produces a number of currents, that is going to transport and pull material off our beaches and deposit it somewhere else. We see this with uh, Montauk Lighthouse, how that material is taken and deposited on different beaches. And it's going to be the same here. Here, uh, For those people that are familiar with Long Beach, we actually see a number of things or jetties to protect our beach from erosion. Uh, very similar features to groins. And we can see here that these are those features coming out. And we're going to take a little closer look at them right here. And like I said, if you're from Long Beach, you know these very well. So we have these jetties, or these groins right here, coming out or jetting out. We have the longshore transport. This is a current that's close to the shore. So it's gonna move sediment in that direction right down the beach. And what happens is the sediment comes in, it hits the feature and it stops the sediment. So we get a buildup on that side. And then what happens is some of it's pulled out and moved and it piles up and it hits this side. So it stops the sediment from moving down the beach. And once again, I come in and move it and pile up on this side. So like we can see, they run perpendicular to the drift or that longshore drift, that current in our ocean. So like if you go out surfing on Long Beach and all of a sudden you're looking at lifeguard stand and within a few minutes you're moved away, that's the longshore drift that has moved you. And here, notice how it comes in this way and then you have the pile up of that material from where it's actually, from where the drift is coming from. So here we can actually see where the longshore drift is from looking at with the deposition of material. So we can see this side has doesn't have much, but here there's been piling up. So our longshore drift has been moving this way across. Material gets pulled out and it's going to move that way. And so and we can see here in this picture how we can kind of slow the sediment from moving down this beach. Once again, let's see them. And I think it's a little bit more difficult to see them here. This is, looks like at low tide, so we can't. it's a little bit harder to kind of figure out which side is going to be the one that's primarily or the direction of that longshore current. But you can just see here how we can have a series of these built up and then this huge one out over here to prevent sediment from uh, moving. And actually, if we look at that last one, it looks like our current is this way because it looks like there's a buildup on this side and not much right here. Here's a spiral groin, a little feature. It's pretty cool. It comes out and around, and it's going to be pulling and trapping in sediment. These are breakwaters. These are set up parallel to the beach. And what these do, they're going to actually decrease the force from incoming waves. And what happens is we have the wave comes in. It breaks right here. And then we have a low velocity or decreased energy. So we get deposition behind the breakwaters. And you can see there's actually deposition in this region. So deposition, deposition, and deposition. And just like on this diagram, deposition behind the breakwater. We're rebuilding a jetty, you can see here. And actually, if we go down to Jones Beach near us, um, they've extended the jetty there uh, at one of the inlets out into the ocean. But basically, they use these massive boulders that can, that are not going to move even in the strongest of currents. Yep. And here, just keep off the jetty, I mean groin. Uh, we can see here, sorry for that. Um, basically, this buildup of huge rocks and material to stop the beach from going anywhere. Okay, and that's about it for coastal erosion. Like I said, we'll go more into this in class um, before we move on to glaciers. Hope you enjoyed this screencast. Take care.